Hello class, how are you guys doing today? Because we're doing all right. My name is Quentin Powell and this is Paige Murray. And today we will be discussing the cultures of Guatemala and El Salvador. Now, in case you didn't know, these are two Spanish-speaking countries. So, did you know that El Salvador is a republic and it is also a dependent of the Aztecs? It declared its independence on September 15th of 1821. The largest city of El Salvador is San Salvador, and its religion is Christianity, and it also has a literacy rate of 82%. Wow, I did not know that. But did you know that Guatemala it was a democratic republic, which is kind of similar to what we have, but our president is not like their president. See, the democratic republic, their president is the head of state and head of government. So that means he has a slightly, a little more power than our president Obama here in the U.S. Guatemala de declared its independence in 1821 as well. So that means they're their own country, just like El Salvador. The largest city in Guatemala is Guatemala City. And the next city, which is the second largest city in Guatemala, is Quinta Tengalo. And unfortunately, Guatemala is the lowest, lowest literacy rate in all of Central America. El Salvador is the third largest economy in Central America. It's also known as the land of volcanoes. There are currently 20 volcanoes in its territory, but only two of them are active. And did you know almost 7 million people are in its population? It's slightly smaller than the state of Massachusetts. Wow. Speaking of volcanoes, in all of Guatemala's 42,000 square mile radius, it has 33 volcanoes, and quite a few of those are active as well. Spanish is also the country's main language as well, but within that Spanish language, they have 21 different dialects, so that's a lot of different Spanish-speaking people. Wow. It's funny, they have a lot in common so far, but did you know that 64% of the population lives in urban areas and also 19% of the population lives off of less than a dollar twenty-five per day? That's crazy! Yeah, that's really crazy. Minimum wage in the United States is seven fifty. But did you know that the majority of the Guatemalan people live in the northern part of the country, while most of the Guatemalan people descend directly from Maya. Wow. And you know the way that we use both socials and no socials? Uh, in El Salvador, they use vosos, like in Argentina, how they use vos as second person pronoun of two. And did you know that the largest mall and airport is located in El Salvador? I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, just like the biggest export of. Guatemala is coffee, sugar, and bananas. Most of the, like I said earlier, most of the residents live in the northern part of Guatemala. They leave the southern part all for cropping. So the Pacific lowlands is all cropping, and everything they grow there gets shipped right out. Cool. Tourism is the largest growing sector that they have for the South Dorian economy. And did you also know, I almost forgot to mention, about their flag. They have a silver blue and white flag. And the flag was adopted May 27th of 1912. And they have a slogan that says, Dios Union Libertad, which means God, Union, and Liberty. I think that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And speaking of flags, a lot of people love their flags, just like they love their religion. The national religion in Guatemala is Roman Catholic. Now, along with Roman Catholics, Guatemala tradition is for funerals that the body is always buried as soon as possible, right away. There is no weight in holding the body over time. They bury them right away, and most of the funerals have lots of candles and they celebrate with wine. Wow. I think that we've learned a lot today about Guatemala and El Salvador. The literacy rate of both, um, well, of El Salvador is improved, and you know, Guatemala can use some improvement. But we've learned a lot about the two cultures today, so I hope that you guys have too. Thanks for coming.